Hello and welcome to another edition of Conspirator Works Pull List. This is my pull list for the week of April 7th, 2021. Uh, giant week for me this week. Um, I get 22 titles. Um, so yeah, so let's let's dive in. First up we have a Batman 107. Uh, everybody's been going crazy for Batman. Uh, the two and the four. Tyrion. I butcher it every single time. Tinian the fourth. Man, he's just done great with Batman. Um, really, really like just enjoying it. So everybody's like super excited to check it out, uh, especially with all the stuff that's going on with you know, ooh, the new look of um, uh, Scarecrow, and of course there's going to be a new character coming out soon. So everybody's jumping at the bit, but it's good stuff, and if you should be following it because yeah, it's good. Next up, uh, Steve Orlando's Commanders in Crisis number seven. Um, it's good. I enjoy it. I'm going to keep going with it and see where it goes. I think it's a 12-issue thing, so probably at the end of 12, uh, I'll, I'll give my final overview of it. But uh, so far, it's, it's been okay. Next up, we have Crime Syndicate number two of six. Uh, the first issue was really, really good. I can't wait to dive in to issue two uh, and see what goes on with Crime Syndicate. This is It's just a really, really solid miniseries. If you haven't yet checked it out, I highly recommend it. Next up, we have uh, The Dreaming Awaking Hours. Uh, it's basically, if you like the Sandman universe, you should be reading The Dreaming. It's really cool stuff. Uh, G. Willow Wilson, yeah, she's doing a fantastic job with it. Uh, yeah, awesome. Next up, we have uh, Far Sector number 11. This one's coming to a close. I've enjoyed it for the most part. It's It's been okay. Um, it's 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 a little more lighthearted and, and kind of trying to be very, very, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, one of those space detective things. So it, it's good. I enjoy it. Uh, this is a big one for the week, and it's from Image, and that's uh, um, Jeff Johns and Gary Frank's Geiger. Uh, yeah, Jeff Johns' stuff. I cannot wait to dive into this um, and uh, check out what what's going to happen with this. So, yeah, if you like Jeff Johns and Gary Frank, definitely want to pick it up. Next up is God of War, Fallen God, number 204. Um, I've, you know, the comic books are based, based around the... the the video games and some of the other uh, fantasy stuff has been good. I've been enjoying them. Um, so, yeah, there. I mean, some of them are hit, some of them are miss, but for the most part, uh, I, when I get them, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with them. But And God of War is no exception. It was good. Next up, we have Green Lantern, number one. We're going to see what happens with uh, the little lantern now. Uh, she's got the glove and she's whooping ass and people are like, wait, wait, that's a powerful weapon in the hands of a kid. Uh, 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 yeah, we'll see where it goes. But yeah, it looks to be really, really cool. Next up is a Joker Harley Criminal Sanity number eight. Um, yeah, I already read this since it's already taped um, because I, 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 I want to get through it uh, because I, I already have the other history of the DC Universe number three about Katana, which was really good, by the way. If you have not yet checked out those other History of the DC Universe Black Label books, you really, really need to. They're amazing. Uh, but yeah, Cammy Garcia has done a fantastic job with this. Uh, Jason ba Badower. Badower is a good, his art is amazing. Uh, so yeah, so I can't wait to see where that ends up. I think there's one more issue, um, but reading that one, it seemed like it was done, but mm, I'm there, I think there might be one more. Next up is a book that I passed on. And then came back to because um, the Suicide Squad was in it. So that's Man Bat number three of six. Um, I basically really enjoyed uh, the the first issue, and so I I snagged it up and uh, yeah, can't wait. Oh, it's, it's three of five. Sorry, right? Yeah, three of five. So yeah, but the issue with the Suicide Squad was good too. So yeah, um, check it out. Next up, we have Marvel Action Captain Marvel number two from IDW and Marvel. I don't know what's going on with Marvel and their kids stuff, like IDW Publishing. I don't know why they're doing that. Um, like the Marvel action stuff seems to like start, have a first issue, go maybe two or three, four issues, and then get reset again. It's the weirdest thing. Um, it's for my daughter to, because she likes Captain Marvel. We'll see. Uh, next up is a new number one for a mini series from DC, and that is the next Batman Second Son, uh, written by Ridley, who wrote the other history of the Dark. Uh, other history of the DC Universe, which you should really, really check out. Uh, it's good, good stuff. Next up is number two for Noctera. I read the first issue. It was amazing. You need to get your hands on the series. It's really, really good. Uh, uh, Scott Snyder and Tony Daniels do a fantastic job 
on it and yeah you should be checking it out next up is origins number six of six from boom uh this finishes up the mini series i've it's for the most part this has been okay um i'm interested in the concept but i don't know where it's going to go in the end so i'm hoping this last issue kind of really drives that home at what it's it's about and it, basically what we want to get out of it um it's it's something that's going to be go up on my e ebay so it'll be up soon once i finish reading it but Next up, uh, Overwatch, Tracer, London Calling, Five of Five. Uh, talk about a book that I'm not too keen on. Um, it's it, it had its moments of being okay, but for the most part, I just was disconnected with it. And I think I felt disconnected from it because Overwatch has just been so stagnant, at least in my opinion, on like, it, just in the game itself. I, I haven't played in years. Um, my roommate, who used to play a lot, doesn't play. Um, they... They haven't really done anything. They've talked about bringing out Overwatch 2. It's like they built, tried to build do this big world building and then just kind of let it just dud out. Um, and then this miniseries just doesn't really resonate very well. So, but we'll see. Maybe the last issue will be great and I'll fix it. Or it'll fix everything. But that's probably something that's going to pop up on eBay pretty soon. Next up is another one by Steve Orlando. And that's pro, uh, from Aftershock. And this is Project Patron, number one. Uh, I'm going to check this out and see if it's any good. Um, I've been trying to check out a little bit more independent stuff um, just because there's some decent stuff coming out and uh, I highly recommend, you know, at least giving it a shot. You never know. Next up is Sensational Wonder Woman number two. So we get some more Wonder Woman action. The first one I enjoyed, so we'll see. Next up is Seven Secrets number seven. So that's a lot of sevens in this. Uh, so yeah, so... Um, uh, Tom Taylor's done a great job with Seven Secrets, so I'm really curious to see what happens with uh, everything now that everything's all up and up and crazy and nothing. I don't know. We'll see. <sighs> Next up is Star Wars High Republic number four. Um, this is the only Marvel comic I get currently. Uh, it's really good. I enjoy it. Check it out. Um, the High Republic stuff's been great. I have not yet finished reading, you know, the one right here uh, by Charles Soule, the, what is it, the, the Light of the Jedi, but it's good, but the problem is, is I find myself reading a chapter and then stopping, reading a chapter and then stopping, because uh, the chapters are fairly short, um, and so I haven't really connected with the characters um, as much as I think I should, so, um, but we'll see, maybe it's a different pacing in the middle of the book, um, but it's not that it's bad, I enjoy it. And next up is Star Wars High Republic Adventures number three. So this is more aimed towards the kids, but it's still something solid and you should check it out uh, because, yeah. Next up we have uh, Suicide Squad number two. Uh, what can I say? The first issue was really cool. I cannot wait to see where Thompson takes it. Uh, what's the first name on that? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, nope, not there. Not there, not there, not there. Oh, here we go. Robbie Tom or Thompson. Yeah, so curious to see where that goes. Um, oh, yeah. For those of you who have kids or potentially have people in your life that play Fortnite, uh, there's the Batman uh, Fortnite Zero Point crossover coming. So, uh, yeah, maybe you want to jump on getting that pre-ordered at your local shop. I think um, FOC has already gone in for number one because it comes out on the 20th of April. Or is it 21st? No, no, it's DC the 20th, but we'll have it out on the 21st. Uh, so yeah, so in two weeks, so if you like Fortnite or know somebody who likes Fortnite, maybe let them know because there's supposed to be codes in it for in-game items. Next up is one that uh, I'm like super stoked to read um, issue two of and uh, can't uh, one blew my mind uh, how good it was. And that's Swamp Thing number two of 10. Uh, by Ram B. Man, you seriously need to have this on your pull list. It's really, really good. Um, I'm super stoked to, like, yes, it's in. I'm going to read it. And finally on my pull list, we have The Walking Dead Deluxe and number 12. Um, I have not yet read them. I need, I, I, this is technically stockpiling two trades worth. So I should sit down and just blow through the colored Walking Dead again and reread it. So we'll see. But yeah. That's it for my poll list. Um, yeah, it's a big week of just the, the books that I'm taking home to read. Uh, sometimes that will happen. It happens, um, like, especially when you have, like, a fifth week where there's barely anything. And then the next week, there's, like, a ton of stuff. Uh, so, yeah. But I did get some variant covers. Um, I did get a second print of Batman 106. 
thought that one was a cool second print, so I snagged that up. Uh, one of Batman 107, of course, had its variant cover, so I picked that one up. And then they had the like black and white sketchy uh, one in 25, I believe, cover. Uh, this one was of a scarecrow, so I snagged that one up there. Uh, Crime Syndicate 2 had an Owlman cover, so I couldn't pass that one up. Uh, Geiger had a bunch of variants, so I grabbed those. This is the Eric Larson variant there. Like that one, and then we have the Jason Faybook variant that was pretty cool there. And then, of course, a blank variant because at some point in time, I may run into people that you know have created things and have them draw or sign on it. We'll see. Um, Joker Harley Criminal Sanity had an awesome variant cover I snagged up. Um, Noctera, of course, had its variant cover, so I grabbed that for issue two. Um, let's see. Uh, Sensational Wonder Woman number two had a variant, so I picked that one up as well. Suicide Squad, of course, had a variant, so I picked that one up for an issue two. And the Swamp Thing number two variant, I picked that one up as well. So that's for it for all the variants. Uh, it's not, it's a decent amount, but uh, yeah, it could have been bigger, could have been worse. Uh, I did pick up some um, other stuff that came in um, for the kiddos. I got the Dear DC Supervillains. Uh, this is the second book from, um, what's his name? Goose, Gustavo, De, uh, from Michael Northrop is the author, and Gustavo Durate is the artist. And this is basically, there was a Dear, Super, Dear Justice League one, so this is the one for the villains. So, yeah, if you have kids, check it out. It's supposed to be really, really good stuff. And uh, I got an art book for um, something, and that is The Art of Hearthstone, uh, Volume 4, The Year of the Raven. Um, so, yeah, I got my Hearthstone art book, uh, which one day I'll open eventually, uh, even though I'm a little, I'm, I, I'm not completely you know, turned off from Hearthstone. Um, I was a little bit at the beginning of this year or earlier this year with the release of their last set and the changeover in the, 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 um, leveling up thing, like their, their, uh, like, was it leveling track and stuff like that? Um, if you hear yelling and screaming, it's because my kids are outside and think that they don't yell loud enough for people to hear. So I do apologize for that. Um, but yeah, so we'll see. But this new set and the new rotation of, of uh, cards for this year, I'm, I'm looking forward to testing stuff out and seeing where it goes. But yeah, that's a lot. Uh, that's it for this week's pull list. Um, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you can, leave your comments down in the comment section below. And let me know what you're picking up. If you have any questions, all that stuff, please be nice. The internet can be a eh, place to be anyway. Um, yeah. You can listen to me on the Comics Conspiracy podcast. We just finished recording episode 495. And uh, we talked a little Falcon Winter Soldier, answered some questions about, or answered some listener questions, and talked about how shitty Bleeding Cool is. Um, for running an article that was basically a lie when all they had to do was ask one question of DC to get the correct answer. Actually, they could have had two different questions and they would have gotten the correct answer. Or maybe three different, but they, each one would have been, the, you would have gotten the right answer. Uh, so you can listen to that. You can help me and my fellow um, conspirators out through Patreon at www.patreon.com slash comics conspiracy. For as little as a dollar a month, you help us with hosting fees and getting stuff. So thank you very much to all of our Patreon backers. It helps out immensely. Um, you can also help me out a little more directly. Any links here or at conspiratorrock.com, you can click on those from to Amazon, buy it. I get a little bit of Amazon money. Thank you. Or you can head over to my eBay store where I'm constantly purging stuff and getting rid of stuff. And currently I am in the process of getting rid of boxes. Yeah, I'm selling boxes. And specific types of boxes I'm selling are, I came across a box of my stuff that was from when I was a kid, which is a long, long time ago. Um, and uh, it's basically a whole bunch of Nintendo uh, game boxes that I just kept, um, like the collector nerd in me did as a kid. Um, so they're in a lot, like they're a lot, and a lot of them are in decent condition. Um, I don't have a couple things, but like I have the, at least the box and the... Um, was it the, the instruction manual for a lot of it? Um, inserts and stuff, I have some. Uh, posters, I don't necessarily have all of them. Um, but yeah, so I've been I've been putting those up. I already sold two of them. Um, and I probably could, could have gotten more for them, but I, you know, I was kind of just testing it out. 
so yeah, so I have those up so you can check that out if you want. Again, there's a link in the description below for my eBay page. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I did uh, finish Brave New World. It's a horrible book. Um, I, I might have mentioned this last week. Um, if I did, cool. If not, um, whatever. But uh, yeah, I, I understand why they use it in high school to and college in English because the themes are easy to pull out of. But yeah, it's not a good book. So yeah, got that done. Uh, so I'm still plugging away at Light of the Jedi and um, on a recommendation from an artist on uh, Twitter, I um, basically started to read uh, was it Bull Mountain by, let's see what it's called. Bull Mountain by Brian Panowich. This one, uh, kind of like uh, justified Sons of Anarchy type stuff. Uh, yeah, so I'm, it's about a sheriff whose basically brother is the bad guy. So we'll see. It's been really good. I'm about to just finished chapter two. So yeah, it's good stuff. <sighs> that's it. I think that's it. This should be it. So. Um, oh yeah, you can follow me on Twitter. My handle is now BES Basement. Um, I put in another appeal for my regular Roxager account, but I, nobody works over at Twitter support, so we'll see. But thanks for watching. Um, I will see you next week.